Hi, I'm Rachel, and this is my response to The Color of Law. And the history that I knew about segregation was mostly stuff I've learned from high school in one college class I took. Um, but I feel like all of those pretty much were very surface level. Um, I think it definitely taught the important things, but it definitely wasn't in depth. And I do feel that this went more in depth and was very interesting to read about. But I was like sadly surprised just how much it's continued all over America and the issues that just seem so easy to be resolved just continue. Um, in my community, I live in a really small town. Um, so we just kind of had a lot of farm area and I guess I would say that the middle class lives in town while like there are more like outskirts of lower income families or like areas and then anything above middle class would probably be the farmers themselves um and our my hometown really doesn't have a lot of diversity um i graduated with a class of under 100 and i would say it was 99 percent white so we didn't have much of a segregation issue because there was no issue to happen. Um, and then with the two sides of the story, I didn't feel that there was much missing. I thought he hit both sides and I think that he argued well and brought up good points. I personally didn't feel that I could have thought of anything to add to their argument. Um, and then in my community or school, are they segre seg racially segregated or in the friendships? Um, I definitely didn't have any interracial friendships within my community. Um, I knew people from other towns that um, I had interracial friendships with, but definitely nobody from my town. Um, and I think that is really, really sad looking back on. And one of the consequences was really like getting to college and seeing a huge eye-opener of how diverse the world is and I felt very sheltered especially in my first year just not knowing as much as other people knew like culturally and just about other issues that people experience firsthand that I didn't experience firsthand because we just didn't have any diversity in my town. Um, and then one thing I'd like to understand more about my home or community is just, I guess, the a deeper history of why there is no diversity. I mean, it's a town just outside Lansing and, well, I guess a little bit outside Lansing, but we just see like such a lower amount of diversity than the Lansing area. Um, I think it's really interesting because my grandma was an immigrant. She immigrated from France and she ended up in a very, very small town with n no diversity and she definitely felt some of the issues that came from, but me personally did not. Um, was I surprised that Chief Justice John Roberts got his facts wrong? No. I, I was, I was pretty surprised because of how public of a talk it was. Um, it kind of just made me think of the whole, like, COVID times and how many, like, how much fake news was spread and how many people backed it up, knowing that a lot of this was untrue. Um, and then for any questions, I guess it's just like how, how current has like everything been going on or like just what's happened since would be interesting to like learn more about, especially like going through the pandemic and everything. Has anything changed? Have things gotten worse because of it? Um, I definitely think it's something to look deeper into.